Um, but what I was there for was to see the Me oh, Mexicolas. They're not the Mexicolas. They're Mexicolas. They're actually a band we reviewed uh, while you two were away. Yeah. I called them Birmingham's Answer to Green Day. There were three pe there are three piece from Birmingham who, in 2006, were in a Channel 4 documentary, apparently, which centred on their warehouse and what they were doing. Apparently, mm -hmm. they all lived together and record together. I thought I'd go see them when I, uh, when I was there, and they were amazing. Really, really good live. Quite sort of hard rocky, but uh, the, the vocals and everything, and a three-piece as well, such a fantastic sound. Uh, the track I'm going to play is a different track from the one I played last time, but you guys weren't here anyway. Uh, it's from the album, which is called X, and the track is called Big in Japan. Standing on the rooftop, leaning on a poster. Say she's on the big screen, everybody knows her. Monkey with a fly spot, trying to get an eyeful. Towers on the platform, sizing up her rifles. Wants to be the big stuff, fake it better so. That's uh, Mexicolas and uh, Big in Japan. There's been a few songs called Big in Japan over the years. I think the band yeah. as well. Yeah. Yeah. It's an expression, isn't it? The, the rock music expression with Big in Japan. Big They'll buy else. anything yeah, yeah. over there, won't they? Yeah, I know true. so it's many big people big. that have sold yeah. over there, but not here. That's a bit Nirvana-ish, isn't it? Yeah, it is a bit Nirvana-ish. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but they're amazing, especially for three-piece, yeah. you know, really like good, good sound. live sound. But, mm -hmm. That's what reminded me of Nirvana. They made a much bigger sound than the, just the three. Yes, that's yeah. right, so, definitely. 